Welcome back to the Fish Cave, guys. Today, as you can see, we're mailing some plants, some shrimp. This process actually works for fish, too. I mailed out um, some bristlenose plecos a few weeks ago, um, and this worked fine for them as well. So if you guys got some you know, smaller fish, this process should work. And as you can see, we're shipping with some heat packs. We got some styro liners. Um, so if you guys are interested in how to ship plants and fish and snails when you need a heat pack, this is the video for you. Uh, quick rundown of all the supplies. I use USPS flat rate boxes. The boxes are free. Um, you can buy, I buy these kits of styrofoam. I bought a, a box of like 20 kits of styrofoam. You can buy them, you know, they cut them for these things, uh, for these flat rate boxes. Um, I got heat packs, 72 hour heat packs. I recommend, you know, at least the 48 to 72 hour heat packs. Obviously you're gonna need your, your snails and your plants and whatever you're uh, shipping. Um, this is a little bit of tank water here that I'm gonna dip some of these um, paper towels in to keep everything moist. I got some newspaper to wrap the heat packs in. We got some baggies to put the plants in, uh, tape for the boxes, and I think that's pretty much it. So let's get started. As you can see, I kind of got a box made here. Uh, there's a hole in there. I'll explain that in a second. Let's get started with packing the plants. I just take a paper towel here and just, you know, get it moist, moist and damp. And you just start wrapping the plants in it. I got a few packages here for uh, the winners of a giveaway we had. And then I'm also mailing out some packages to uh, a few fish tube buddies. Um, I got a package going out to uh, Mad Fish Diva and another package going out to uh, 54 Punchy. Big shout out to them and a big apology to 54 Punchy. We had talked about getting this stuff out to her literally like the end of last year. And um, the shipping and, and cold weather really scared me, but I, uh, I did one test and it worked, so now I feel more comfortable. So as you can see, I'm just gonna wrap this stuff. I don't, there's no really super me me method to the madness here. I just wanna make sure I keep everything, you know, nice and moist. And once I get them in those wrapped up like that, I use the, um, just the cheap plastic sandwich bags, stick them in there, and that should keep it nice and moist. Now I've shipped plants like this you know, plenty of times and have never had any issues. So I feel comfortable doing it this way. If you guys have uh, different methods, drop a comment down below, let me know. Always looking to, you know, to learn. So in this package, we're gonna have some Christmas moss. This is the Luigia olivialis and uh, we got some chola wood. Now that this is all packed, let me show you guys how I construct a box like this. Um, first off, I just take, you know, an empty box and, you know, fold it into place. I recommend using, um, you know, tape to secure the bottom. It's pretty loud. <laughs> and just get it nice and secure. I usually do two, just to be sure. Looks like this is actually the top. Either way, top, bottom, doesn't matter. And then what you're gonna wanna do is grab a kit of um, the styrofoam liners. So if you guys aren't mailing in the heat or in the, in the winter time, you don't need this step. But like I said, we're gonna go over what to do if you're mailing in the heat or in the, in the cold. <laughs> so um, as you can see, there's like a top, a bottom, and then four sides. So I put the bottom in first and it just slides right in. Then you can assemble the sides. There's really no, doesn't really matter which way you do it, but they should fit in nice and tight on the top. And then the last side. Nice snug fit. So as you can see, got all the sides now insulated and then the top fits like so. And the reason why I'm gonna put a hole in the top is because I don't want this package to overheat. And what I simply use for the hole is I, I take a, uh, like a drill bit for a, a doorknob or whatever you wanna call it. And I just kind of manually, you know, pick a spot and just twist it in there. It gets a little messy. So I'll do it over here. But I just kind of twist it 
push it through and got a nice little hole. And that way it still should maintain the temperature in the box, but it shouldn't overheat. Um, like I said, this is what I've done in the past. I've shipped live fish. So I'm pretty sure it should work with snails and plants. Um, and then in terms of the heat pack. So as soon as you take this heat pack out of this packaging and then exposed to oxygen, it's gonna start working. So literally wanna open it up like so. And I forget which way, there's a, there's a red stripe on here and I believe that's gotta be towards the open area. Um, let me double check this real quick. So yeah, with this red stripe, that's where some of the holes are. So you wanna make sure you don't like cover that all the way and you wanna make sure that stays facing up. So what I, what I do or what I've done in the past is I wanna wrap it loosely in um, paper, not paper towel, in newspaper here. So you wanna make sure you remember kind of what side is, is top. So let's make this room here. And now we're, we know we're up and we're down and we're up and we're down and we're up. So I know that that's now up. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna kind of rip this off. I don't wanna fold it too much um, because like I said, I, you want air to get in there. The whole point of this is you want there to be some, you know, flow of air, uh, but you want it to be, you know, covered and a little separate from the contents uh, of your box. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this kind of on the side here. We, with, we got plenty of room in this box. We're not shipping a ton of stuff. So it's not gonna be hard at all. I'm gonna be able to fit this stuff in here and actually add some more newspaper just to kind of give it a cushion so it's not wiggling around too much. Um, I probably could have fit this stuff into a smaller um, priority box, but with the heat pack, um, I'm a little scared to use a small priority shipping box with the heat pack because I feel like it may heat up, you know, a little too much. Um, let me make sure I got everything in here. Got the chola wood, the two different plant species. Um, I'm gonna throw some stickers in there as well. If you guys want a Lucky Schmuck sticker, let me know and I'll uh, hook you up for sure. The other thing that I put in the packages that I forgot to mention, I threw them in there after I filmed, is these uh, Save a Fishy Siphons. Big shout out to uh, Mermaid and Pirate Aquarium Supply for hooking up with some to give away. Um, if you guys are interested in these, if you don't know, they actually go on the end of uh, your siphons. As you can see, I got them here on my siphons because I use them now every time I do a water change. Um, if you guys are interested in buying them, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, they hook us up with a coupon code, so Lucky20 gives you 20% off. Then we can simply go ahead and place this on top, literally like that. Go ahead and close it up. And where's the tape? Come here with the tape. One more for good measure. All right. And now we're ready to stick a label on this sucker and get it in the mail and out to one of the winners. Another thing I should mention is I use a pen. Just when you're boxing multiple things at once, you don't get confused as to what's in the box. I'm just gonna write like W1, so I know this is one of the winner packages. Uh, that way I don't get confused later on. And let me show you guys how I do these snails that are crawling all over the place. Um, it's really important to keep them moist, obviously. Mystery snails in general are really hardy. I've seen these guys crawl out of a tank, sit on the floor for a day, um, and then put them back in the tank and they pop back to life. Um, so these guys are pretty, pretty dang hardy, um, as are most snails. But these are going to Mad Fish Diva, the opal mystery snails. Getting a few in there for her, get them wrapped up. Like I said, I've sent mystery snails, assassin snails, ram's horn snails, you name it, um, just like this, have never had any issues. Um, important distinction, I guess, is gonna be with this one, make sure you use a Ziploc bag as opposed to just one that has a fold top because these things will crawl out. I mean, they probably will crawl out of even the, um, the paper towel here. Um, you can ship these in water. I never have and I never had any issues. Um, but like I said, this is just the way that I've done it. Let me get packing the rest of the plants here.
I'm probably not gonna write down what I'm including. So MFD and 54 Punchy, if you're watching, 54 Punchy, this is just a Wasser Tang we talked about. Um, I'm throwing in some Dwarf Sag. There's a Crypt here. And then there's a, I put it one stem of the Ludwigia um, Ov Ovilialis. And then um, MFD, I threw a Crypt in for you. There's a stem of the Ludwigia Ovilialis. The snails we talked about. Um, and I threw some, uh, some Dwarf Sag in there too. So I'm sure you guys would be curious what the plants are. And I probably, if I don't write it down now and you guys ask me in three days when you get them, I'm gonna forget. So here's the finished product. Got them all ready to go. Just have to fill out the labels and then head to the post office. Congratulations again to the giver, uh, the giveaway winners. And a uh, big shout out to 54 Punchy and Madfish Diva. If you guys don't know who they are, they're like OG fish tubers. Um, they've been around forever. I know that way before I even created the channel, I know 54 Punchy's been hanging out in you know aquarium co-op live streams and just been a big uh, supporter of the community. So go check out her channel. And same thing with Madfish Diva. Um, as far as I know, you know, from when I had like a few hundred subscribers, Madfish Diva has been a supporter. Um, and she's got her own channel, so definitely go check her out as well. I'm gonna throw some links in the description down below to some unboxing videos. I know that uh, a few people are gonna be doing some unboxing videos of these, so as they do them, I'll make sure to link them in the description below so you can see what it looks like when they get them. Hope you guys learned something and feel a little more comfortable shipping some plant snails and even fish in some colder weather, you know, using some styro liners and some heat packs. As always, stay positive and stay passionate.